One of the things that Aaron had done from the beginning that we'd had lots of conversations about was we actually did move through the, through the administration on a yearly basis. And because he had picked a particular point in the first season in the administration, we, he, we had literally, since we had stuck to that from the beginning, we'd run out of Bartlett presidency. And we had a conversation, well, we could stretch it out, <clears throat> you know, we could keep it going, um, we could pretend that we changed the time frame, and we thought, well, I think we should stay true to that original kind of vision of it. So we started having conversations with political consultants about who these new candidates could be or, you know, what would likely happen. And one of the things we heard about was a, was a lot about uh, this it's going to not sound like it's real, but we heard a lot of people theorizing about how within the Democratic Party, a young um, senator, someone like this new guy from Illinois, like Barack Obama, uh, could actually capitalize on this notion of the, being the first minority president, uh, or it would be a female president. That The Democratic Party was likely moving towards um, embracing the growth of the base. Uh, and so we had all of these scenarios that were worked out for us by the political consultants that we dealt with, everybody on the Republican side and the Democratic side. Because people really, again, in my earlier thing when I said people want to tell you what they do, people want to tell you what they do. So they couldn't wait to tell us about all these different kind of, you know, scenarios about how a minority uh, person could actually get a nomination or a woman could finally get the nomination. Um, <clears throat> and so we started kind of working off that. Now, we did not know that it would actually end up going almost exactly the way we wrote it, which was a very surreal experience afterwards, not because we had been uh, clever enough to figure it out, but the fact that the political consultants who we dealt with already could see it coming like two years before it really actually happened, which was sort of fascinating. Um, we went back and forth about whether it should be a woman or not, and... and uh, the scenarios that political consultants ran for us had a woman losing every time and the right minority candidate winning every time, which also turned out to be absolutely true through the primary process. They felt that we were still six, five to six years away from the general electorate being prepared to elect a woman, any woman president of the United States. Now, the good news now where we sit today is if you're a Hillary Clinton uh, fan, that their projections had us in this election cycle as an electorate able to elect a woman president, whether or not that'll happen, but that it's actually politically feasible based on the demographic changes in the country. Hmm. So, and we ended up coming up looking like we knew what the hell we were doing, <laughs> but it was just people telling us to do it. And, and it gave us a ton of new story to do because <clears throat> It is in many ways more fun to run than it is to actually govern. 